Hey guys, DJ here with another tutorial on Tekkit, and this one is a automatic skeleton spawner farm. Um, this is using a laser, oh, laser, laser. It's a lava blade technique, and this is part six of the cake maker farm. So to start with, I'm just going to run water. Four, five, six, seven. Water along there. Okay, I think that's the right length. Two, two, four, six, seven. Yep. This is so you can kind of. Oops, I'm, I must have missed one of the spots. This is so that all the uh, skeletons that are spawned are funneled to your chosen area. Now, there's a reason. Oh, oops. But really, what you should do is the skeleton spawner should be actually up here further, so you can you can kind of hope to get in another chunk. I don't want to keep spawner farm. Now, if you need to know how to move skeleton spawners or spawners in general, um, you can check out one of our other tutorials because I do cover it. I might not have yet, but I'm going to. Hopefully by the time you see this, I have done that. Okay, so there you go, you've got your filtering system done, so all you need to do is cover up this area to make it dark. Now the best way you can make this is to have it so the, um, the killing system, the lava blade, is in a different chunk because that way skeletons will continually spawn here when someone's in this chunk and they'll all go to the second chunk right I'll just put one more layer on I used to be smart, um, smart when I do this one and put in like a little light system so I could check it out whenever I wanted to maybe having, um, I don't know what I did actually, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just um, used pistons to make it a little bit of a window, a too high window, that you'd see in um, the house, DJ's house of secrets, which should be getting ready to be uh, uploaded for personal downloading. Alright, so now, although I'm in peaceful at the moment, so it's not actually going to spawn, but obviously you're not going to be in peaceful if you're on a, sport, a server or something. So I'll just cover up this. If you weren't on peaceful, you would probably just light up the skeleton spawner. Well, I'm in creative as well, so you can't really do much to me. Now, in here, you need to make a little bit of a if you wanted to carry to another spawner, um, another chunk, you could just run um, a whole line of water source blocks here and then just run it that way. But I'm not really going to worry about it for now. And I'm just going to run because I don't, I'm not going to have a lot of space underground, which is where I would usually I'd usually run this further down. But I'm not going to have enough space, so I'm going to have to actually make the spawner. Um, the lava blade here. So all the lava blade is, and you put in block there. Now people say that obsidian pipes are laggy and whatnot, and well, I say the same thing. But sometimes it is a bit more convenient to use obsidian pipes than it is to use anything else. Especially when you have to use item teleport pipes because there's no nothing in red power that can teleport items that I know of. Well there probably is and I haven't got that far yet, but I'm fairly new when it comes to red power. Um, now we're gonna need a chest. Now I think lava runs three, so I'll just try lava for three to start with. Now 
Yep, it stops there. So I'll just cover all this up. Make it as dark as I possibly can, although lava's not really going to help, is it? Although having a closed chamber does make it a bit safer, so no one can really get caught. Now I'm just going to take off peaceful. Make it hard, so they'll spawn faster. I'll just help it along, because I don't really want to wait. Um, Right, yeah, so. I'll quickly block up my hole. And have a look at what's happening here. They are dying. But maybe I've built this wrong. No, here we go. Here we go, they all die through here. And then all the items will fly up through here. Yeah, you can see what's going on here. They die on top and then they drop their items on top of the obsidian pipe, which runs it through here. But obviously this um, this will only work if you're in range. Or you're in you're in have to be in range at this one. That's why it stopped, because I wasn't. So what I tend to do is I put this in the centre of my um, towns and things like that. So if you make a town, you put your skeleton spawner in the, or your spawners and whatnot in the very, very centre, in the place that's going to be most trafficked, because you get a lot more um, drops from them. Right, that's another one of the cake, another part of the cake maker done. If you like this one, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, like our Facebook page, and post on our wall any video requests for the future. And obviously, stay tuned for well, part seven of the cake maker, which is. Well, putting it all together and finalising and finishing it all. Radio, DJ out.